well, this is called Mock Badger. Um, can you see how many people? Like, that, that's the um, flyover that comes down and people are standing there just to get into the bus. I mean, how risky that is. I mean, I get it. It's, you know, you know I, I used to do the same because otherwise you won't get a spot on the bus. living and then see there is no freaking footpath why would people walk and how the heck i don't know what does Bangladesh government guys or whoever approved this road and why are they this much broken and stuff like that it's, it's just like insane and it will make you mad too if you're here but this is how these people, they don't complain, they, they see that it's normal and they see there's no food pack, nothing. And that's just the mall there. But you see how tiny the streets are. Um, two cars can barely move together. No, it's like too tight. It's, it's worse than New York. But. The country is hard and hard and hard and hard and hard of people like me. I was reading the article the other day and it says Bangladesh is, I mean Washington state is five times bigger, almost five times bigger than Bangladesh is. And the Dhaka city, the capital city has 20 million people, even more than that. It was, it was uh, done, I think 2000, the last census was done. Well, according to Siri, this is the information of our census, but it grows crazy. So you see the hike. Enough of census. And while I was passing, I looked into lemon and then I went back to ask them about the price. Let's go check it out. <laughs> So four piece equals to about 25 cents. Yeah, I mean, you get it the same, right? At some places you get um, about 10 for a dollar. Sears, um, for instance, yeah. Uh, the Sears is still to my place. And then I almost get like 10 for a dollar. But those are not, are not as much fresh as this. But you should get my point. So there's no food pack. How long have we been walking? There's no food pack and it's clean, it's dirty. And look at the shoe. And there is dirt, dirt, dirt. No, I mean, I complain because I want to see this, this city better. I want to see it, it's a cleaner city. Umbrella is there, marketing, and then you see the articles. I mean, it's not about stuff. They are selling skin for, for 10 taka. Yeah, one dollar equals to 83 points. Something. Well, you know about how much Taka is, it equals to dollar. So let's keep walking. I'm almost to my place, though I think I still have to walk 10 more minutes. I'm loving this walk. Um, it's actually less traffic right now, otherwise, in busy times, these roads are jam packed, and literally, you, ha you know, I had to squeeze myself through cars, through rickshaw, through buses, which is more riskier, but this time of um, this time of the day, it's less. Oh, did you see that? That was a coffin for poor people. Um, it's very cheap. I don't know how much is it, but it's made of very cheap, cheap, cheap um, woods. And look at this. I mean, all these people, I mean, why don't we uh, these things are really, really tasty and it's very, very um, mouth watery. If you can make it like put some onions and some chilies and some tomatoes and lots of things, it's very mouthy. Anyways, let's go back to our street, these dirty streets and um, the uh, work maintenance they keep doing 
all year around i mean why would that be whoever the authority is the plan is just not right break the street do the maintenance fill it up put a timeline but it never happens they run out always run out of money and then it is keep you know we leave it like this then the rain comes and whatnot and this is what you can see many places in Dhaka, not Gulshan and Banani, but in the, the lower um, areas. Alrighty. Yeah, it's. You will bump into people. This is not Seattle. This is Seattle, not freeze. I, so I should say, like Dhaka males, if Seattle freezes, look at that. Look at that. You see Seattle? Fresh fruits. I mean, I don't know about organic stuff because you don't get it organic on the street. Um, you will get them though from, look at that guava. That's just one of my favorite things. We don't get it much, not this kind in the United States. The ones we get from Mexico is um, now, is, so if you are ever in Bangladesh or Dhaka and then during this, um, time of the year you will get lots of uh, guavas uh, they are called Kazi Tierra locally so it's not that hard there is a look which is more crunchy and you might um, I don't know how to say it in English so this is like tuk tuk so they carry about six seven people in there yes like jam pack okay you want to see that, see that? people there it's a economy travel transportation from here to inside the tiny lanes where I mean most people don't have cars or their own transportation so they use a bus and the bus does not go in the tiny street so what they use is rickshaw but whoever can't find and kind of cannot afford a rickshaw they use those kind of tuk-tuks um, that's about it and you want some coconuts so 40 so that's half a dollar and then that let this like 40 cents you get a coconut the fresh one um, this is how busy the roads are I'm walking towards my place. I'll show you just I just want to see show you like how many opportunities are here and just lack of monitoring and lack of implementation. This country could go, do so much better. It's it's a, you know bigger. It doesn't have like and my hands are okay. Otherwise, you know, I don't care what they do with the money. They are not like United States. Like, you know, they ask for money and then go buy um, drugs in Bangladesh beggars. I don't think they ever, ever buy drugs. They do um, feed their whole family. And sometimes there was, like, there was a couple of incidents like they found um, the beggar is like a millionaire. I mean, that's rare, but that's not the point. My point, my point is, someone is begging on the street doesn't have a leg or it's not even disabled people and um, due to the country's poverty uh, government are not able to give them you know take care of them like we have social security and uh, you know uh, you get you are taken care of you see my point I just don't want to talk about that it's I feel like it's discrimination but you know, they're begging so if we can spare some money do that why not you have to give you have enough and I I'm in a far better position than he is so why not right anyway so I have entered in the road this is this um, this was good two years ago when I first came here um, but now it's so, I mean, let me turn the camera on. Okay, you see? So they did some work in here because of the wasa, I mean, the water line or the gas line, something they did. But then after that, they left it like this. 
and nobody knows when it's gonna fi get fixed. So I usually get off in there, um, but my most people they take they take their transportation up there. Let me show you how they how they how long. See. So he's going to get he's getting out. And he's gonna show you like how packed. And these drivers, uh, they drive these cars uh, in a safer manner. Safer manner. Okay. There was another riches moving on, so otherwise this car can go. And I don't want to show their car number. Okay. Okay. Uh, I would have seriously bumped into it. No, no kidding. I can't. Um, one time my friend dropped me here and he had a, a SUV, the bigger one. And I mean, like, I was freaking out. I thought, like, he's gonna get so many scratches on his car. But thank God he was able to get out. Anyways, um, thank you for watching. I'm just tired, that's why. Anyways, thank you for watching. Um, if you like what I see, put a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm way behind and we are growing very, very slow. So your support is highly, highly, highly appreciated. Thank you so much. I love you all. Bye-bye.